Uh, right, memo to self, next in concert show, to get my Rod Stewart box set of live concert recordings and play Young Turks to remember this session. Why not? Uh, yeah, live. Yeah, I remember seeing, I've seen Roger lots of times, really good. I remember seeing him in the 80s at Earl's Court doing that song, so there you go, showing my age there. Uh, so how many songs have you written so far? Do you have any idea how many songs you've written so far? Well, I, I've, there's a lot of songs that I haven't finished. Um, I did a lot of uh, demos for songs back when MySpace was a big thing and, and it's, it was a bit of a shame that MySpace never really took off no. because it was a fantastic way to get your music out there and there was no real financial you know thing behind it, it was just put your music on there. People, it's the early days of the internet though wasn't it really? People enjoy it and you get to meet people, I went to so many gigs and hooked up with a lot of people so I've still got a lot of demos kicking around from those days um, but now I, everything's gone to to Facebook which I guess yeah there's, there's music and stuff on there but I, I don't find it as easy to to use as what about as, as like SoundCloud or Bandcamp or something like that well I use that but that's just there's just stuff on there there's not really the same interaction or m maybe I'm just not using it right maybe I need I to know. get the get the manual out and read it <laughs> well if there, is, if there is a manual I think it's always constantly rewritten I don't know it's not I mean these days record companies as my understanding is they want they haven't the big companies haven't got the money that they won't well they won't spend it on new artists so they want someone to come to them with a fan base with an album with the material already and here it is folks sign me and away you go so oh yeah yeah well I mean there's, yeah, there's always that side to it but a lot of the time it's just just nice to sort of do it for fun and oh definitely yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. oh, right. Something else to do for fun. I'm going to ask you about this as well. Is I remember looking at your Twitter feed earlier, um, and it mentioned uh, you do you done magic on the radio. So how does that work? That's right. Yeah, I'm also a, a magician. I, I did think uh, something a, a few weeks ago on um, the Way Radio, and we we did a, a card trick in in the studio, and um, on the radio, on the radio, yeah. and it was. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I would do it again. It was quite, <laughs> it was quite nerve-wracking. Right. Um, but it, yeah, it worked, and it, it was a kind of a sort of a, a telepathy uh, card trick thing. So, yeah, the, the, the chosen card. There must be a song in there somewhere. Must, <laughs> there must be a song in there. Um, so, what have you got up for us next? Well, we, we're going to do one that will give Emily a chance to show off a nice accordion. Uh, and this, this, this is a group that you introduced me to, actually, the Decemberists. Yeah, so the Decemberists are a band from Portland, Oregon. Um, I came across them about probably 12 years ago or so, and, um, and they're still going very strong. And um, I think we then went to a concert up in London, mm. and there is a female accordion player. So oh, fabulous. Yes. Um, yeah, you got to meet her once, didn't you? Absolutely, yeah. I got very starstruck, so... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does it inspire you, though? Oh, absolutely, and I think, I mean, they really are a bunch of musicians, you know, they they play multiple instruments, and um, they play some rather odd songs, um, you know, kind of sea shanty-inspired songs, right. music that you wouldn't associate with the mainstream, but they've, they've become a real commercial success. Well, that's good. They're really good fun, though. If you go and see one of their gigs, they'll, they'll probably do the one about the whale at the end, and everybody ends up, you have to go on the floor and join in, because <laughs> the ship gets taken out by it's this kind whale. kind of more performance <laughs> art, isn't <laughs> it, the music. So what was the yeah. venue like where you saw them do the whale, then? Yes. Yeah, Not so seated them. I, I think it was Shepherd's Bush, which, uh, yeah, when, yeah, you're all over the place there with the, yeah, the stalls. <laughs> 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 so what's the song, then? Oh, the song's called Chimney Sweep. Chim Actually, Chimbley Sweet. Chimbley, oh. Chim yeah, because we're talking real, you know, Victoriana here. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Chimbley Sweet. Chimbley Sweet. That's right, isn't it? I'll get it right. Put my teeth back in. Uh, okay, Grant and Emily, off you go. <laughs> 